What is up guys, it is Master Wolf here, welcome back to a brand new game, this is Call of Duty Heroes, now this is currently in beta, uh, and it is a Clash of Clans style Call of Duty game, and this is almost a spitting image of Clash of Clans with a really cool Call of Duty skin on it, and it actually is surprisingly good, I really did not expect it to be very good, uh, like many games that have tried to copy uh, the big Clash of Clans, the Call of Duty one has done an alright job and it is enjoyable to play, so I'm going to run it over for you today, uh, if you want to see more of this, make sure you comment down below saying, more uh, and we can carry on the series and it could be a really big and really fun game to play now we start off with our base this is our base that we can design to defend against attacks and whatever and uh, it starts off pretty plain you have trees around which you can uh, chop down you have a communication center which is very much like the um, the clan wars building that you have to rebuild uh, once you rebuild that you can actually start creating up a team uh, it's actually called an alliance and once you create an alliance um, you can have people send you troops, you can send them troops, I mean, you know where this is from, but it, it, I mean, it's pretty cool anyway. So, this is my base at the moment, it's pretty standard, I am a, um, command centered level 2, which is level 2, one off the bottom, uh, and we have a few things here. So, this is our oil depot, which basically stores our oil, and this is our gold depot, which stores our, uh, which stores our gold. Now, for each of these at Com um, Command Center, is it Command Center? Yeah, I'm going to have to get used to saying this. At Com Center 2, you can have three oil pumps, and you can have also three gold miners. So, uh, you basically get three things to collect gold, and then a store in this, and uh, this has a capacity of 100,000 at the moment. But obviously, that can be upgraded to get more. Now, as far as this back bit goes here, this is where our uh, troops stay. This is the deployment yard, and you can see them, like, waddling around there. And this is the training compound where we train up our troops. I'll dive into that a little bit deeper in a minute. Uh, I have got here a barrier. This is only a level 1 barrier. And as you can see, it is guarding the uh, comm center because when somebody comes and attacks you, if they complete and destroy the comm center, they get one star. If they complete 50%, they get two stars. And if they complete 100%, uh, they get three stars. So that is defended by two machine guns, uh, two sentry guns, which basically cover the whole base. And also one SAM turret. Now, the SAM turret is uh, for air troops only and won't affect ground troops. I've also got a few bouncing betties here. Uh, so if anybody tries to attack from the front, hopefully they're going to be wiped out by these bouncing betties. As you can see, we've got some people strolling around the base. I have no idea what they're doing, but they kind of stroll around the base. Anyway, so let's dive into this. This is uh, this is the training compound. This is the training camp. And this is where you can train your troops. At the moment, uh, as I'm only a level... What level actually am I overall? Let me have a quick look. I'm a level 6. I'm a lieutenant uh, corporal level 6. And I can, at the moment, uh, bring two troops to the army. <clears throat> one is a level 1 assault, which attacks ground and air. And it doesn't have any primary target. And the other is a juggernaut, which likes to uh, attack turrets... And only does ground. But these are a little bit more expensive. Take a little bit more time. And also hold two spaces uh, in the in the train compound. So we've got an army built at the moment. Let's jump out into a game. I've actually got two builders as well. Uh, but the, the builders are pretty damn cool on this. Once we get enough, I'll see if I can build something up. Can I upgrade this yet? Uh, no, I don't. I need a little bit of gold. So let's go out and get a little bit of gold. And see if we can win. Now we can either find a match on uh, the multiplayer or play through the single player campaign but I want, through, want to run through the single campaign with you guys uh, separately so we're going to go find a match on the multiplayer now there's not many people on the multiplayer by the way at the moment guys and as you can see no matches have been found it's very very small at the moment uh, we'll give it two more tries no matches let's see one more time and there we go okay we've got a base so this guy here has, oh, this is, uh, okay, this is actually quite hard for me. You see this in the center here? Uh, this is a funny thing. I can't quite remember what it does, uh, but it's pretty powerful, and I want to destroy that first. Now, one thing I didn't mention is you actually get a thing called Heroes, and I have Captain Price at the moment. And uh, what a hero does is, it's actually pretty cool. He is like a, a boss. He is really, really strong and really powerful. So I'm going to spawn a few of these down. I'm actually going to spawn my hero up. And what you get to do with a hero is this special ability. Now, I actually have Chopper Gunner, and you can see this pulls in a Chopper Gunner, and I can actually shoot down certain things. So I'm going to try and take that down. I'm also going to try. There we go. We've taken the machine gun down as well. So we've taken down pretty much all his defenses, and now we can roll in and start destroying his base. That worked out really, really well. Uh, that Chopper Gunner really saved us. Now, we've got three minutes left to destroy everything. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to spawn people kind of around the edges, 
uh, just to hurry it along and start taking everything down. Otherwise, we're going to run out of time. So there we go. We're starting to pull those down. So as I said, um, you get a hero, which are really handy. Uh, the heroes can help out a lot. And um, you can obviously spawn in a certain area of the base. You can see this red red box. I can't spawn in the red box. I have to spawn outside the red box. Now, with the heroes, you can use that chopper gun as many times as you want. But as you can see on the right, it now costs 43... I can't remember what they're called. I'm going to say energy points for now, but 43 of them. Uh, and the way to collect these energy points is by taking out the base, etc. Uh, but it starts off costing about 18 energy points or something like that. So it's pretty cheap to start off with, but gets up quite expensive. So as my guys go in and defend it, uh, destroy this, you can see if I zoom all the way out, the sound actually goes and it goes really muffled, really quiet. But as I zoom in, it goes loud again, which is quite cool. A uh, nice little unique touch, but... Let's take this down, so we've got 70% damage complete. We're about to take out his command center, uh, which is going to be really cool. If we win this, we actually get uh, 10 stars. Uh, sorry, 10 stars, 16 stars. If we lose, uh, we lose 6. So it's not too bad. Uh, but there actually isn't much loot available now. I don't know if I've taken all his loot, uh, but there wasn't loads available in the first place. So come on, guys. Let's take this down. This is actually going to be quite close to, uh, to not taking this down. As you can see, it, it's actually pretty... Pretty close. Um, I'm sh should I spawn? I'm not going to spawn in my other juggernaut. We're just going to let this one. There you go. Everybody's converging, and that is that over. Victory. We have won our first victory on here in a video. Uh, from that, we were able to get a few things. We were able to get about 4,000 gold, uh, 8,000 oil. We used Captain Price. He's nearly ready to level up. Uh, and a really cool thing is we can actually leave our messages. So if I go on here, I can leave a message, uh, and I'm going to put watch this raid. On www.youtube.com slash the master of and uh, he can go see the raid there so thanks for uh, thanks for being here uh, we were able to raid him and he's gonna get that message next time he logs on to find his base has been destroyed and he's had a message you could really taunt people you could really abuse that and be quite rude but I, I suggest not doing that anyway let's get these oil uh, get this oil back so hopefully now we should have enough to uh, to train. Can we upgrade our training compound now? Yes, we can, sir. And out comes the builder. Um, the Yeah, they are actually called builders. And as you can see, they're pretty cool, and they're pretty big beasts. Now, we can actually move everything around, as you saw there. You can pick stuff up and design your base however you want. This is how I've gone to start off with. Uh, it's a pretty simple, standard base, but I'm hoping it to be pretty good. Now, you can actually hurry stuff along with the green uh, stuff in the top right there. Uh, I believe that is called Celerus, Celerus or something. I can't quite remember. Uh, speed up process. So we finished it. It will cost us 32. Uh, let's have a look at what this is called. So you can buy this as well. Uh, it is called Celerium. Celerium. Never heard of it, but Celerium. Uh, and as you can see, you can pay more and more and more or less and less and less. Um, and also you can buy more if you want to. Anyway, let's go in here. We've unlocked a brand new character, guys. This is the Sniper, level 1. Uh, he goes for resources... And he's quite expensive. He takes a long time as well. So he's kind of the expensive guy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out uh, four juggernauts. Because the juggernauts go for the machine guns. Uh, I'm going to spawn one. I'm going to spawn two of, two of them. Uh, two snipers. And then the rest are just going to be general soldiers. Let's just instantly finish those. And go back out to battle. So as you can see, you can kind of slowly upgrade your stuff. There's loads of stuff you can buy and unlock. Uh, as you can see here, to make your game even better and um etc etc but you can also do heroes now as you can see here uh once you finish north europe you unlock new people and there are new characters coming really soon you can actually put in your suggestions right now on call of duty.com and suggest some cool characters from the old uh, from the call of duty games to bring into this uh, as you can see here, I've actually requested Makarov to come in and be like a hero but also a bad hero. So anyway, let's go out and have uh, one more attack. Now, we're going to go find another match. We're going to try and take out one more person rather than try and take out a standard uh, base. All right, let's have a look at this. Wow, okay. This guy's got three, um, three machine guns and one SAM turret. That shouldn't be too bad. We should be able to take this one out. Oh, no. Ah, oh, damn it. I searched for next. Ah, oh, I did not mean to do that. And now we can't find anybody. I did not mean to do that. Getting used to these games is uh, actually really confusing. Right, let's see if we can find one. We'll give it a couple more goes. If we can't, we'll just have to go for a uh, for a normal, uh, pl not non-player base. 
the actual non-player bases, the computer bases are really hard at the moment. I'm not even going to lie, they are crazy hard. Uh, but we're going to go have a look then if this isn't one. Alright, let's have a look. So we've got uh, South America complete, Middle East complete, or North Europe. Let's have a look at North Europe and see see what it's like. So we actually get quite a lot of gold uh, for doing this and a little bit of oil. But as you can see, this is really, actually really hard. And I'm not quite confident enough uh, to do that one yet. So I'm going to retreat. I think I dropped somebody. Did I... I dropped one person. Gutted. Uh, I'm really not ready to do that. I've literally had this game for like 10 minutes. Uh, so let's go back and have a look at another base. Let's go for a little bit of an easier base. Uh, we're going to train up one rifleman. And we're going to go out and attack. Let's go to South America. And let's go to mission 3 of South America. And I'll show you what this is. So this is uh, pre-done bases. And as you can see here, there's not much to take. And you can spawn out your troops. Uh, I'm going to spawn a few out. Now you see what these people do, these are the riflemen, they get killed really easily uh, by machine gun turrets. So what you want to do is spawn out your juggernauts. Uh, they take more damage, but they also um, they also have to get really close, so they will die quite quickly. Which is the only problem really with them. So we'll spawn up uh, some riflemen behind them to help them out and take out those machine guns. That's one taken out. This guy's, uh, this guy's going ham, look at him. So they shoot over with their shotguns, which is pretty cool. You can also turn the camera around uh, so to get a different view on stuff. Oh god, these guys are going hard. Look at them. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop out our hero. And the really good thing about a hero is I can actually tell him what to hit. Now, you can't do this with the other troops, but with the heroes you can actually say, Go hit this guy. Because uh, as you can see, this machine gun is literally destroying everybody. Uh, but hopefully the hero will take him out. Uh, there we go, the hero has done his job. Uh, and it's really good you're able to control them. I'd love to have been able to control the other guys a little bit like this. Uh, but sadly, we can't do that. Alright, he's going to destroy that wall. I think we can also we can also pan down a bit. Or you can go like for a bird's eye view, whatever you like. I quite like a side, uh, slightly side on view. So he's taking out the gold storages. Uh, this guy's taking out the com, com center. Let's just put him over there. And that should be that. That should be another win, guys. And that is a very brief look on our first part of Call of Duty Heroes, the Clash of Clans style Call of Duty game. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. If you did, make sure you comment down below uh, and also like this video. I can continue it if you want or I'll continue it on my other channel. I haven't quite decided yet, but I thought I'd show you guys because uh, it is pretty awesome and it is something quite new to do. Uh, but until the next video, guys, thank you so much for watching. Peace out.